warning, this game contains flashing lights, loud noises, and jump scares. Enjoy. So if any of you are front of this stuff, then be warned. And, uh, of course, uh, the warning screen itself has to be in a very spooky red uh, aesthetic here. So, yeah, let's continue. Use headphones for better experience. Well, don't you worry. I always have my uh, headphones on for these special occasions here. And uh, I guess we're about to listen to a phone message here, huh? And, uh, well, this is the job application form right here. Do you Hello? really want uh, to work here? Well, yes, I do. I was uh, looking through the newspaper again, like I always do, and I found this, uh, you know, peculiar ad. So, yeah, of course I want to work here. All right. <laughs> oh, and here we have the main menu for the horror of birds. How's it going, everyone? And welcome to another FNAF fan game that's simply called The Horror of Birds. So I stumbled upon this FNAF fan game at some point in the past, and so this game, uh, you know, really had some promise for it. It was uh, in the demo stages, and so, uh, you know, I was gonna, you know, get to the demo, but, you know, unfortunately, uh, a lot of other games uh, had caught my attention. And so recently, the full game uh, just dropped, and uh, I'm about to spend a few nights over at, uh, you know, another restaurant this time entirely of a murderous bird cast that's about to, you know, probably peck me to death with their uh, sharp beaks. And uh, from what I've uh, looked on the game page itself on GameJolt, uh, you know, these uh, bird animatronics look so freaking fuzzy. I just want to give them a big ol' hug. If they're not murderous, then, yeah, that'll be okay. And, uh, yeah, um, the game really looked uh, very neat from there, from, uh, you know, the gameplay stuff that I've uh, seen thus far. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this FNAF game, then, shall we? Golly, the freaking main menu music is just such a dramatic banger here. Inspired by FNAF, and this game is made by a toe and there we go so i got the rest of the credits opened up right there i have no idea what my uh, mouse cursor isn't showing up on the main menu screen could just be like uh you know something going on on my end credits of 3d modeler atal programmer atal 2d artist atal history atal sounds by pixabay children's drawings christian aguilarte evans molina Samir Yepes, uh, sorry if I, uh, you know, butchered uh, any one of those names. Special thanks to Gabriel Ato, Sebastian uh, Pajaro, and uh, Sebastian Chica. Oh, well, there we go. So now I can uh, see my mouse cursor on the main menu screen again. Yeah, that was just a little bit of a visual bug, I suppose. <laughs> so yeah, there goes uh, all the credits right there again. And so, yeah, I guess I can get started with the horror of birds then, shall we? One last special piece of news before that I hop straight into this uh, game here. I just wanted to give y'all a huge special thanks for 1,000 subscribers. I could not fathom just finally seeing the big 1K on my freaking screen. Just uh, right there. To just the big uh, 1,000, uh, you know, the one triple O just uh, right inside of the retinas. But no, seriously, I just wanted to give y'all a huge... Uh, yeah, special thanks from every uh, single of, uh, you know, fiber of my own being since, man, this whole, uh, you know, journey of just doing this whole YouTube stuff again uh, has been so much fun so far. And yeah, just playing games like this, for example, yeah, um, it is really fun just to upload my, uh, you know, reactions and just, you know, get my own uh, overall, like, uh, playthroughs of every single one of these games. And yeah, it's... Uh, been a real one so far so yeah um soon enough though we are gonna get started with the 1024 hour stream and i already got some really uh you know sick ideas for like uh, multiplayer games that uh you know i could bring on a few uh you know people on to and so much more that i really want to you know keep as a surprise in that the 1024 hour stream so stay tuned for that soon since yeah, I really want that stream to be one of the best that it can be, and yeah, I just want that to go down as one of the most chaotically amazing streams that I've ever done before in my entire YouTube hobby here. So, uh, yeah, just uh, wanted to thank y'all so much again for all the support for the last uh, couple of years, and uh, yeah, here's to great horizons in the future, because yeah, 
who, who knows uh, what the future is going to hold in store for, like, FNAF games and uh, a lot of more uh, real-life stuff that I cannot wait to, you know, dive into in the future. So, yeah, um, let's go ahead and get started with the horror birds and uh, see what these murderous birds are up to then, shall we? And uh, here we have another cutscene here. Uh, I don't like that. The, hi there. <laughs> Andrew, uh, look, man, I'm trying to get my soul some shut-eye. Can you get out of my house, please? Do you really think this is okay? Is it really worth it? Well, yeah, it's another paycheck that I want to get for myself. Uh, sure. <laughs> okay. You'll soon forget what you've seen anyways. Uh, oh, really now? What are you talking about? You'll see. What is going on here? Can you get out, like, out of my house, please? Before that I call the authorities on you? Just before, um, anything worse happens? Use your first night to explore the place and the mechanics. Ooh, okay. Just, uh, the stuff that I always like. So, yeah, here we have night one of... Well, this game here. Oh, wow, that's a whole lot of arrows. So, I guess, uh, I can go ahead and turn the look over here. Hello. And, uh... There's no one on the I'm other side that uh, the door we there. hired you for oh. this job. Uh, hi there, man. Guard starting here. I leave this message looping on the first night. Here I'll tell you some important details that I might not have mentioned during the interview. Listen to me. <laughs> One, during the first week of work, you cannot quit the job. I don't know why this rule exists. <laughs> the owner's orders. Two, the camera system oh, has some issues. Hi, everyone. Sometimes, the signal cuts out, and you'll see static on the cameras. It's a bit annoying, but it's something you'll have to get used to. Three, during the night, the animatronics move around the premises, even though they should be turned off. The owner has mentioned that he'll send a technician to check them soon. Four, the restaurant's power during the night comes from the generator located in the power room, specifically in camera eight. Keep yeah, in mind that this that. power isn't infinite. So try not to use too much energy and check camera 8 occasionally to ensure the generator is running properly. That's all for now. I hope you feel comfortable with this job and remember, a house is a place where family fun is the most important thing. Bye bye. Yeah, my life is uh, not as important as to, you know, keep the freaking place from uh, going to the flames uh, all thanks to this generator. That is a uh, constantly running here. And hey, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, were you the one that freaking pecked the cameras? Uh, because I do see a bit of broken glass that's uh, right there. So, yeah, I, I gotta keep that uh, generator all uh, nice and uh, filled up with a lot of that energy. So, yeah, there is a couple of ventilation systems that I gotta keep an eye on. And uh, here we have another door that I can well, close on if there's anyone outside whatsoever. And uh, I can't, uh, you know, press on that light right there since I guess that's a clear indicator that, you know, maybe the door might be uh, using way too much power. Okay, so, uh, yeah, one of them is already starting to move around the place. Uh, really, now, I decided to freaking come back to the dining room just to see you gone. Uh, where did you go, huh? know that you're uh, probably wandering closer here somewhere see I know that both of you guys are gonna be uh, moving around soon enough hey how you doing buddy so yeah you're uh, standing on the stage still so that's really good to see there so yeah the bottom arrow goes to the right ventilation system Alrighty. and oh okay, I see so there's a uh, three vents to keep my eyes on and two doors so yeah, that's the uh, overall layout of this entire place I see. Alright, I really do like the vibe that this whole uh, building's given off. With those, uh, you know, pinkish purple uh, neon signs that are decorating the walls. And just the overall setup of this place, really. Oh, wh where are you going? Yeah, I know that someone else has uh, left the stage, and it's the only other uh, pristine bird animatronic, and it's uh, right over there. How you doing? Yeah, I just gotta say, both of your guys' fits, yeah, look very snazzy on both of y'all. Uh, okay, well, I guess the compliments were, uh, way too much for them, and so they're, uh, coming straight to my office just to, you know, show off their, uh, fits. Alright, well, uh, please don't do that with a beak in my face. Okay. Don't see anyone in that doorway there. 
better with this one. Okay. I know that someone's gonna be... Yep, you're about to crawl on my, uh, well, ventilation system, or maybe... Ah, oh, great. I guess you're in my doorway. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I need you to freaking get on out of here. Alright, so I'm back on night one, and, uh... Yeah, I accidentally clicked off the main game itself, and my mouse cursor decided to vanish after that happened, so I just had to reopen up the game again, and, uh, now I should be good to go for, well, hopefully good to go for the rest of tonight, and, uh, the other bird, uh, has left the stage, so yeah, where do you think you're going, huh? Just gonna be looking at one of these doors here, okay, good thing you're not they're loitering outside, neither with that doorway. Alright, so I should be good to survey the rest of this whole building. D okay. Alright, can you go away, please? I, for some reason, am hyper fixated whenever... Not really. <laughs> the door is closed, so I can't, like... Oh, go back to the center of my office. Uh, so that's uh, how you properly deal with that bird goober. Great. So you uh, hear them run off somewhere back within the main building itself, and you should be good to deal with anyone else if they decide to crawl on the vents. Just give them a big old freaking uh, build of electricity throughout their animatronic servos. Okay, no one's there. So I don't really have to, you know, check those uh, cameras constantly whatsoever. Camera 8 is the only important one by far, so let me see if there's anyone there. It happened again. So yeah, I had to be very careful if I, uh, you know, were to place my mouse on the direct right side of my screen, since if I accidentally click off, uh, then yeah, I won't be able to see my mouse cursor anymore. So I have to keep track of where I put my mouse at all times, and someone already moved. That's great. Uh, it's already been a couple of hours, and uh, you guys should have moved uh, by that point. Uh, there goes the other bird goober. See, I guess uh, they decided to make their mark and move around anyways. Okay. Anyone over here? Nope. Don't see any activity on that hallway whatsoever. Uh, anyone out here? Nope. Oh, come on. Well, that's really good that no one's outside of my office whatsoever. And uh, that's not a good sign that my cameras are consistently uh, you know, losing connection every few seconds. Since that's a sign of uh, animatronic movement, a uh, standard, uh, classic, whenever it comes to any of these FNAF games. Alright, so I got 50% left on my overall energy here. Uh, hello? I know you guys are not going to say hello back to me, aside from, uh, you know, you guys uh, standing real creepily at the doorway just waiting to peck my face off. I know that you guys have sharpened your beaks uh, in the meantime, just ready to do just that, huh? Okay. Gotta recharge up my generator a couple of seconds there. So no one's at that doorway. Yeah, I don't think that these guys are gonna show up at the same exact time in either one of these doorways since, you know, that is kinda awkward that whenever one of these doors are closed, I can't move whatsoever, so. Yeah, that, that kinda does add to the overall intensity factor in a way, just not moving around whatsoever. Just have to deal with these threats one at a time simple as that, but right now I don't see anyone. And that should be real perfect. Uh, speaking of someone moving around, uh, hello? I know you're going to be appearing right there in that doorway soon. Uh, great. Uh, you're not there for now. Uh, hello? Th okay then, so I guess I'm just going to be recharging up the generator for a few more seconds now. And I guess the other bird goober is just going to be bouncing around every other room in the building, huh? That's good for my case. Okay. So you're just standing outside of my office, just chilling out. That's uh, real perfect. Oh, thank you. Get one of you guys walking around. Okay. Just keep that door closed. And I don't know if anyone else is uh, nearby the office. Uh, hey, uh, can you tell your fellow bird friend to chill out? There's like a box of like, uh, you know, worms in the parts and service room that you guys can dine on for the rest of the week instead of my, uh, you know, own face that I keep on reiterating. Okay. Just gotta recharge up this generator. Only really a split second there. Just gotta be careful not to press outside of my freaking screen here. 
All right. I like how goofy mm -hmm. some of these uh, drawings are. Kind of has like a old school cartoonish vibe to it. And there we go. Night one has been finished off. At, but oh, well, there we go. I guess it's gonna take me to a you know cutscene where it's zooming in on this really cool looking uh, neon purplish pink uh, clock right here. Hey. And. Yeah, that is one uh, beautiful looking six right there. See you tomorrow. Let's go. We have like uh, five more nights to take care of since, uh, you know, the work resume did say that there was, uh, you know, a few more nights to take care of, uh, like usual. So yeah, night two. You know, get started with this next night from here. And I know that, you know, my mysterious uh, friend's gonna freaking wake me up at middle of the night again? Uh, probably not. I guess that was only a one-time occurrence, which was uh, still odd in that case. I don't know why he freaking broke in there uh, whatsoever. Uh, okay, I guess I'm not going to receive any more phone calls. Uh, that's great, I guess. <laughs> Since I already do know uh, what I need to do from here, if anyone can be seen crawling around that vent or any other ventilation systems for that matter, I just got to you know, use my uh, handy uh, animatronic taser and uh, send them back to the parts and service room, I suppose. Alright, that is kind of worrying that every single time that I flip up my cameras and, you know, just to see what's going on here, it uh, goes back to the show stage and doesn't, you know, stay on the camera that you're uh, currently on. So that's kind of worrisome there. Okay, uh, can I charge up the generator? Gosh darn it. I want to keep the freaking power from uh, not turning off on me, so yeah, can you please not shorten out here? Okay, you're instantly gone. Okay, is anyone going to be disappearing from the parts and service room? I could not imagine uh, for the life of me that you guys are going to be moving around since you guys don't have uh, working robotic technology in those suits whatsoever. Uh, clearly y'all don't since... Uh, yeah, uh, your guys' uh, eyes are still glowing, so, uh, yeah, obviously, uh, both of you are gonna be moving around shortly. Okay, don't see anyone else moving around. So, it's currently June 6th, uh, 2007. So, it's really cool to see, uh, you know, the dates, uh, slowly, um, going up from, uh, you know, June 5th all the way to, well, <laughs> the final day of this, uh, whole freaking work schedule here. Okay, don't see anyone out there. No out with that door. So I should be good to go? That, okay. Every single time that I say that I'm, uh, you know, good for now, something weird is destined to happen, huh? Uh, I heard some of your footsteps walking up to the freaking doorway. Uh, no, you don't. You freaking back off. Uh, oh. So you go away a whole lot faster now. Uh, that's really good to know. <laughs> so instead of you, uh... Okay, someone else has disappeared from the parts and service room. Uh, hello? Who's out roaming around? Oh, hi there. <laughs> yeah, I can see that, uh... You're hanging around in that freaking spot right there. Just chilling out in that, uh... Maybe supply... Closet? Wait, hold on, what was that? Uh, that was clearly someone, uh, crawling around the ventilation system. Oh, shoot. Okay, uh, let me go and shot you. Okay, did that send you back? No, it definitely did not. It probably made you a little bit more angrier than before, so that's... Not good in the slightest. So, now I have some bird goober inside of my ventilation system. Oh! Wait, hello? Oh, okay, that's not that bad. So whenever I see a glowing pair of eyes looking directly at me from one of the ventilation uh, entryways, then uh, I just gotta freaking use my taser and send them back to their starting point. Okay. Let me recharge this a little bit here. Anyone out there? Nope. Anyone in this ventilation system? Nope. Anyone uh, staring directly at me from the ceiling? Nope, not at all. Oh, no you don't. I'm just gonna keep you from draining all the way down to minimal capacity. Okay, don't see anyone uh, hanging around in that hallway. Yeah, that should be good to go. 
Uh, yeah, good thing that I don't have any sort of flat carbonated beverages, which is a first for this freaking game right here. Since, uh, you know, always whenever I'm working at one of these places, there has to be a notorious striped, uh, you know, cup filled with some of that flat carbonated, uh, you know, substance that I have not drank before. It's probably left behind, like, some other previous night guard that worked the, you know, one of these freaking shifts. Okay, don't see anyone there. See, so that's really nice that they clean up after themselves in this room. Okay. Don't see anyone else. Oh, you can appear on the other door? Okay, I did not even know that you could do that. And you're about to attack at that side in the ventilation system, I see. I don't see anyone right there. Okay, uh, that was a little bit fast. Okay, cool. Yeah, you get on out of here before I shut the door uh, directly on top of your talons, okay? And uh, now you're currently inside of a vent system. That's not good. Alright. Done. Yeah, I do hear you clamoring around in there ever so delicately. You're like a heavy animatronic. Meanwhile, uh, it sounds like you're barely making a whole lot of noise. Ah, wait, where'd you go? Oh, hi. Uh, okay, so you decided to crawl into that vent instead. Okay, then. I saw you, like, on the right-hand side of the building. And you decided to attack from the left. You know, I'm not going to question y'all's priorities whatsoever. Uh, yeah, I know that they're very straightforward, and that's to pretty much murk me in my office. Uh, okay, then. <laughs> so let me just uh, keep tabs closely on everyone here. Uh, did I hear someone? Okay, maybe that's just uh, my own imagination here. Uh, no, I don't think that is. Hold on. Uh, where? Okay. Golly, man, I, I did not know that you were going to double on back instead of uh, going all the way back to the parts and service room. Hi there. Yeah, let me just... Come on. There you go. That's what I wanted to hear. And so your friend is just standing completely still on the stage. <laughs> so I'm currently dealing with uh, the same animatronic of both brand new and uh, heavily withered so yeah ain't that funny uh, uh oh i did see you for a split second yeah, get out of here. yeah i'm trying to be very uh delicate with every one of my moves here since i don't want to accidentally click out of the game okay don't see you out there neither at that doorway there so i should be good to go from here okay where there you go. Hey, your friend is left all alone on the stage. And maybe you can go give them uh, some support. Maybe uh, for the next uh, show stage. Ah, uh, event that's going to happen uh, probably tomorrow morning. So yeah, uh, maybe uh, prepare for that instead of uh, attacking me constantly, okay? Alright. There's someone on top of me. Nope up there whatsoever and that's funny that i can hear the generator revving up from uh my office from here okay oh really where hi how you doing there buddy yeah i need you to freaking back off for me please finally they decided to move off right at the most uh awkward time since it is going to turn to 6 a.m. just in just a few seconds so yay uh, that's great that you're moving around finally and better yet I'm going to be surviving another night at this freaking weird uh, establishment yeah I still don't know why I work at these sort of places but uh yeah it's all because of that uh, good old paycheck uh, and well since I'm uh, practically insane at this point with uh Want to put my uh, life on the line since I really do like, you know, the thrill of these freaking experiences. Up, uh, okay. Well, I don't see anyone yet whatsoever. Okay, and there we go. Night two has been finished up. 
So I'm gonna be uh, staring at this clock as it's, uh, you know, chiming away with that really uh, peaceful tune. Hey! Yeah, there we go. 6 a.m. See you tomorrow at the halfway point of this entire week. Alright, night three, let's get started from there. So yeah, I think that the other Withered Animatronic is going to be active for tonight. Since uh, they had no chances of uh, moving around for well, the last couple of nights, aside from that other Withered Goober. So yeah, um, let me see uh, how the generator's doing. I'm not too shabby uh, whatsoever, so let me uh, you know, keep tabs on you. Charge you up for a few seconds. Should be good to go from there. And uh, not click outside of the freaking game. Uh, just to take away my uh, mouse's ability to be visible on the screen. All right. All right nice. Just got to recharge up that. All right. Don't see one just yet since they're all uh, standing on the stage, hanging around the parts and service room. I, nope. Never mind. I take that back. Great. Where do you think you're going? Huh? Yeah, I see you're right over there with your beak, uh, you know, fully removed from your face. Okay. Recharge that up. Don't see anyone just yet. Alrighty. Ah, oh, cool. So, uh, the roles have been reversed. So, you're going to stand on the stage until 5 a.m. hits, and, uh, your friend's going to be, uh, yeah, attacking for tonight, huh? Yeah, I see you right over there. How you doing there, uh, buddy? Just gonna be looking around all over the place here. Don't see you on just yet, nor hear them uh, clamoring around the vents, but, you know, later on tonight, that's uh, gonna change a whole lot. So it's currently June 7th, 2007. Uh, okay. And you're away. That's not good whatsoever. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute, I hear someone, uh, moving around. Uh, yeah, who's stomping around? Yeah, oh, it's you. Okay, well, how am I not surprised? <laughs> yeah, get out, out of here. Oh, great. Yeah, this kind of looks like one of the generators from, uh, yeah, the Mega Pizza Plex. So did someone went into a time-traveling ball pit and steal one of those generators and, uh, you know, provided this place with a whole lot of more power? If so, then, uh, wow, that's a whole lot of dedication to pretty much keep this place alive from like going into a full-on blackout every now and then okay oh no, really okay i'm gonna wait for you to run on back okay that's still cool that these guys have uh, multiple mechanics here instead of just simply crawling around the vent um okay you're right there in the doorway okay no. hello no, really now okay so uh, everyone's gonna be showing up at the doors. <laughs> there we go. I thought I heard someone in one of the vents. Yep, I knew it. And the generator is not doing too good. So let me uh, give it a little bit more ribbon there from the cameras. All right, all right. Okay, is someone over there? Nope. Neither with that side, so I should be good to go from there. Okay. Now, I do know there's probably going to be a fifth animatronic attacking from the ceiling. Yep, there you are. Shut that door in your face. I want to hear your, uh, light footsteps from the hallway there. Nice! Alright, maybe I can, uh, give you a free figurine of yourself and you can actually screw off, uh, for the rest of the week. How about that, huh? That's a nice bargain. No, really? Can you go away? I need you to back off. There we go. All right, someone in one of the vents. Nope. All right, perfect. All right, cool. Let me rip up that generator here a little bit. I'll oh, shoot. Oh, crap. Th really? I heard that, you know. Yeah, get out of here. Maybe you guys need some of that, uh... 
yeah, soft like material for you guys, just so that you won't be uh, heavily moving around the place whatsoever, huh? Okay. Don't see one. Oh shoot. Oh, I heard that. Who was that? Yeah, get out of here. Right, nice. Yeah, generator. Gotta top this up right here with some more of that fuel. Ah, really? Ah, who's crawling around? Okay. I hear you. Oh, you're right there. Okay. Just got it. Oh my gosh, yep, it's you again. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm trying to work my usual night guard job here, and you guys are making it so harder for me to, you know, keep track of things, all right? I mean, uh, in all reality, uh, this is still relatively simple, so. <laughs> yeah, keep up with your uh, shenanigans, and hope I should be good to go with moving on over to the very next one. Alright, anyone out there? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Just gotta keep on saying that until uh, 6 a.m. hits, huh? Alright. Oh, hi! Okay, don't see one in there. Yeah, so far, this isn't too bad, actually. Just gotta keep up with this uh, same method of turning around everywhere in the office. And uh, deal with everyone accordingly from there. Shock anyone if there's like any beady eyes, uh, if you hear any movements uh, in one of these hallways, uh, you know, footsteps for the most part. Then, uh, yeah, you gotta freaking shut them out. Okay, where? I hear you. But not above me, so I know that you're inside of a, one of my side uh, vent systems, huh? Okay. Oh, hi. Yeah. Get out of here, freaking bird brain. Yeah, I can call you that. It's like, you are technically a bird, huh? Alright. Charge this. Hello? Hey, and it doesn't matter since night three has been finished up from there. Let's go. <laughs> hey. At least this is a pop every time that I uh, finish up one of these nights. Ah, Yeah, that victory tune uh, genuinely does put a little bit of a smile on my face. See you tomorrow on Thursday. Alright, night four. Here we go. Uh, wait, what's going on now? Uh, why are there police sirens uh, going off in the background now? And uh, floating walkies? 76, uh... I repeat 76. Oh. An accident has been reported at Atal's restaurant. Apparently, one of the animatronics mascots was involved in an incident that endangered Atal's life. Ah, All great. patrol units in like the area are incident? requested to proceed to the scene of the incident. Or something else. Oh, that's just great. <laughs> So, uh, one of these bird animatronics had to freaking attack someone. Atal's has already paid for their actions. Who would have thought a uh, shoe bill would be the one to make them pay? Okay, then that sounds, uh, kind of cryptic there. So, uh, I, I just want to sit back into the office and, uh, you know, work on my very next night, which I'm getting started right now here. So, uh, just had to some mandatory checks right over here no one's outside of my office just yet so uh yeah uh, just the same old usual activity here it's currently june 8 2007 all right and the generator is going down so much faster than the previous couple of nights that i was trying to keep constant watch on this uh, darn thing all right just had to check both those hallways just to make sure. I mean, uh, I don't really have to, you know, look at the rest of the camera system since, uh, yeah, I only had to rely on subtle audio cues just to, you know, discern where these uh, guys are at and then, uh, you know, fend them off accordingly. And, yep, yeah, but the other withered animatronic is moving around already. Yeah, perfect, huh? Just what I like to see, uh, 
You know, in all actuality, I don't. Do y'all just uh, stay in the freaking uh, parts and service room? Uh, like I uh, had said before, there is like a hidden cache of like, uh, you know, earthworms back there. So, yeah, just uh, go back there and, uh, you know, chow down on those for the rest of tonight, okay? And uh, don't harm me. Okay. Not really, no. I did hear some uh, light footsteps going off in the background. There we go. That's what I like to see. Let me go ahead and charge up the generator here. Yeah, I do hear one of you guys. Uh, clamoring around. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so who is climbing around? So yeah, I'm back on night four, and uh, yeah, the same old thing happened just like the last couple of times. <laughs> so yeah, I just have to... D don't you dare... Yeah, there is a poster right there that's all about, uh, you know, being cautious about, uh, you know, stuff around you. Oh! Shoe Bill, my happy day. Yeah, well, this isn't gonna be my happy day whenever this generator's gonna freaking short out soon. Alright, just gotta recharge that all the way back up. So yeah, there is like a red battery icon that pops up whenever the uh, you know, generator's about to shut completely off. I mean, can I just, uh, you know, get up off of my freaking chair and then go directly to that generator room and then rev up myself? I just don't know why I uh, can't do that in the first place. But, uh, yeah, this is a uh, uh, large position, so yeah, I just have to stay confined to this room every single time, so, yeah. yeah get out of here. Uh, maybe you guys can uh, freaking go take care of the generator whenever it shuts off somehow. Alright, don't see anyone else. Alright, good. Just have to be steadily calm here. Alright. Where? Hey, there. Yeah, freaking squawk all the way back down the ventilation system where you came from, okay? Yeah, I know that someone's probably gonna be dangling their little bird brain from the ceiling vent right there. I just have to shock them and should be good to go from there. Alright, nice. That generator is good to go for now. Uh. Yeah, I knew that was someone walking around outside. Let's go. And you instantly ran off back to the stage. Just like that. Oh! Oh, hi. Okay. Oh! Wait a minute. Hey! How you doing, man? I need you to go back to the stage for me. Yeah, let's go. someone in one of my vents. Okay. Steady pull here. Ah. Who's crawling around? I hear that. Where if one of you guys throw like a pebble through the ventilation system directly in my dome, then that'll 
whole other problem here. Night 4 has finally been wrapped <laughs> uh, Oh, man. That wasn't all too bad still, but at least we got another night put right behind us from there. And another nice uh, close-up on uh, that sweet number that I always want to see uh, whenever I'm working at one of these types of deadly jobs. See you tomorrow for uh, Night 5 on Friday. Let's go. So, yeah, uh... Let's see what's going to happen uh, whenever Night 5 is going to roll around right now. So, um, no other cutscenes or anything like that. Just uh, straight away into Night 5. And I know that someone's uh, going to be camping constantly right above me. So I have to keep tabs on that ceiling bit for now here. Alright. Anything going on here for now? Yep, and the generator is instantly dropping. So that is not good. Yeah, you stay with me, man. Uh, I'm not going to let you... I thought I saw someone uh, standing in one of the cameras. Uh, okay, that was uh, kind of creepy there. I think I just <laughs> hallucinated for a brief second. Uh, See, so yeah, I'm kind of tripping myself here off. Okay. Don't see no one just yet. Moving around anyways. Uh, yep, yeah, my cameras have been lost. <laughs> Uh, yeah, how you doing there, man? I know that you're uh, gonna be dropping by in the ventilation system soon enough. Right, there we go. Please. Oh, and you're already starting to clamber around in one of those uh, vent systems. Okay. No one up there for now. And both the stage goobers are not moving yet. That's good. I had to keep tabs on the door since the one of those wooded ones might show up and uh, might freaking jump me out of my seat. So yeah, I had to make sure that uh, does not happen. And it's currently June 9th, 2007. Just to uh, get a little bit of a time check there. All right, no one up there. And they're both out of here. That's great. That's uh, totally not great to see. Here's some uh, light footsteps in one of those hallways. Yellow? Yeah, yeah, you're not slick, you know that, man. Get out of here. Why don't you crawl in one of my vent systems instead of, like, camping at the door, huh? Alright. I know that someone's at one of my vent systems. Don't you say anything. I see you there. Buckaroo? Yeah, you get on out of here. Before I freaking... 
Oh, and I got jumped. All right, first jump scare of the entire game. I am God. Uh, who says you are? You're just a measly uh, animatronic that's been made by, uh, you know, fellow humans, all right? A man was found dead inside a Tao's restaurant. And uh, so that's the main, uh, you know, name of the entire location that I'm working at. Uh, you are dead. Ninfa will come through the right door. If you see him standing at the door, close it. Yeah, obviously that's what I've been doing. Uh, oh, shoot, that's about me, isn't it? Yep, I knew that it is. <laughs> yeah, get on out of here. That's not good. Don't you? Nope! I was gonna recharge up the generator, and uh, I just backed everyone off. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I know, I know. One of you guys can jump scare me. That was kind of creepy. Uh, yeah, I know that you're in here. Uh, do what you do best, I guess. Oh. And you punched me right in the face instead. Okay, well, that's still a awful way to go out, huh? Is an individual has been identified as uh, Neil Christopher Jordan. Uh, he was discovered with multiple wounds throughout his body, and the exact cause of death uh, was probably uh, from some trauma on by one of those animatronics. You are dead. Recharge the generator and use your best strategy so that your energy does not run out. Remember that recharging the generator does not give you more energy. Well, yeah, it's a generator, so it's supposed to keep the entire building from uh, not going into another perpetual blackout uh, whatsoever. And, uh, you got me. And the exact cause of death remains unknown. Nevertheless, authorities are poised to take action regarding this restaurant. I just had to finish off reading this, uh, newspaper excerpt here. You are dead. Dismembered Ninfa will come through the left door and, uh, through the right and top ducts. If you see him standing at the left door, close it. And if you see that his eyes, uh, are glowing in the duct, shoot him an electric shock so yeah just like with the other withered goober uh, he also has uh, a few multiple mechanics at his own disposal so yeah um that's really great to know
he goes. Safely made it outside of the office before anyone else had a perfect time of jump scaring me. Let's go. Night five has been taken care of. There we go. A nice, beautiful shot of 6 a.m. there. See you tomorrow for, uh, yeah, I know, a bit of some overtime on a Saturday. Uh, yeah, believe me, being terrorized by these animatronics on the weekend. Yeah, surviving a bit of overtime is still, uh, you know, rather bone-chilling, huh? Night 6 is up next. Uh, what is this right here? Missing, uh, David Allen Baker. Uh, missing since, uh... July 4th, 1999, a date of birth, May 17th, 1975, age, uh, 24th, uh, he's a male, eye color, brown, hair color, black, height, uh, you know, pretty much some more information there. Additional information, David was last seen leaving his home towards the forest near the town. At the time, he was wearing a red shirt, black shorts, and black shoes, so that right there is our dear brother that was, uh, pretty much missing for the longest time at this point. Sorry, my brother. Oh, man, that's unfortunate that there's another missing persons case that we're personally, uh, you know, going through. You've seen a lot. And here we are about to survive on night six right here. Clocking in for a final shift of this entire week here. All right, yep, I hear that generator revving up in the distance. So, yeah, let me, uh, you know, hush myself up here and, uh, Get to it then, shall we? Ah, uh, what's going on? Uh, shoe bill is coming up. Okay then, so I guess that you're this, uh, shoe bill that you're, uh, speaking of. Uh, oh gosh, wait, what's going on here? Okay, so I think... Oh wow, and the, the date is all... What is going on? What is happening? Uh, what is happening? Oh, wait, hold on. Please, stop? What, what is happening? Okay, that... Was a bit weird. Uh, uh, okay then. <laughs> I guess uh, I can move on. Oh come on, man! Please stop it. Get out of here. I swear, if you keep on doing this behavior, man, gonna have a full-on uh, computer system for you to be uh, trapped inside of. Okay? It's gonna be a prison that you're gonna be spending the rest of your time in. Shoe bill. Yeah, get out of here. Alright, so I guess that's what it sounds like whenever he's back out of here. Alright, let me just recharge up the generator here. Please, and zoom it. Oh my gosh, again? Okay, that's just nothing but a full on distraction. Since I did see someone appearing at me from the vent system there. Alright, are you there? Nope. Stay out of my office.
hear some police sirens going off. Yeah, I'm in here. Uh, please, there's a murderous animatronic that's uh, you know, currently tormenting me right now. Please. <laughs> yeah, I'm yelling loudly as much as I can, but I guess uh, yeah, even then they can't save me now. I, I mean, in situations like these, uh, yeah, the authorities are no help whatsoever since I got to battle out these accursed... All right, animatronics here. All right, good. Oh gosh. I was trying to recharge up the generator. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. I was so close. I was on 4 a.m. as well. Yep. You know what you gotta do, man. Gotta punch me in the face as hard as you freaking want to. Yep, there you are. <laughs> Okay, well, there I go. I freaking came back in the game and yeah, I got murked by a shoot. Yeah, 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 I know you freaking got me, man. So, uh, yeah, another freaking death added to the whole uh, tally, uh. You are dead. Shoot Bill will come. Well, he already freaking entered the office anyway, so yeah, uh, not surprised. Uh, wait, what's going on? Uh, I think I might have bugged the game out. Uh, wait, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, I don't think that this is supposed to happen at all. Uh, yeah, I was dealing with Shoe Bill, and I think, uh, yeah, the blackout cutscene was supposed to play out next, so. <laughs> yeah, this was not supposed to happen. Uh, yeah, I did see you run by the office, so... Yeah, I guess the, this counts as a death, so... Yeah, I don't know how this happened. <laughs> like... Wait, what just... Uh, did another blackout... Wait, what's going on now? Wait, are... The animatronics? Wait, what's hap... The... Okay, I, I'm so confused. <laughs> How in the world did I bug the game out? Yeah, I see you right there, uh, Shoe Bill, like on the other side of the whole building here. Okay, so who is, uh, you know, nearby the office? I don't really think this is supposed to happen whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, every single time that I flip up the camera system, the blackout noise, uh, pretty much cues in. So yeah, I'm gonna restart the night and, uh, yeah, get back right up to where I was. <laughs> Yeah, and I think, uh, Shoe Bill is, like, staying in the same exact camera at all times, so, yeah, all the AI just ceases to move around as, uh, yeah, I was supposed to die. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I
Give me another nightmare. Yeah, let's go. Night six has finally been finished up as well. That wasn't too bad, actually. That one character that appeared in the office as he was, like, you know, flickering the lights, causing so much of that, uh, you know, chaotic noise that's going off in the background. Uh, yeah, it was, well, either way, not too bad, actually. At least I, uh, you know, backed uh, away, shoe bill away from my office, and, uh, well, I guess this is him uh, being, well, dismantled here in the parts and service room. Uh, name, Shoebill version one. Wait, killer. This is what you shouldn't have seen, David. Wait, what now? Wait, did we uh, do something with our own brother as uh, he shouldn't have seen of what we were personally working on? Or is there something even more mysterious going on here? I am God, you say? <laughs> yeah, really, uh, you think you're God, huh? I mean, uh, for killing off your freaking brother, just trying to hush him up for good. Just to, you know, not reveal any sort of secrets whatsoever. Hey, look at that. Thank you, Scott Cawthon. Aw, oh, this is wholesome. Yeah, the classic uh, thank you, Scott, uh, you know, poster right there. I remember before. And golly, it is so wholesome to see that uh, right at the end of, uh, you know, finishing up this horrifying week over at, um, you know, this bird-themed restaurant here. And now we can go ahead and take a look at the extras now. So here we have the animatronics, Ninfa. Ninfa is the emblematic mascot of Atos. He is a male cockatiel, and this version has been enhanced compared to his predecessor. It was specifically created for the new establishment in 2006, and we can use A and D on the little keyboard to switch up the animatronics here. Cherry. Cherry is the secondary mascot sharing the stage with Ninfa. She is a female budgie, also part of the new redesigns. Her construction, like Ninfa's, dates back to 2006, designed for a toes new location. Dismembered Ninfa. The old version of Ninfa was used in the original Atos from 1995. However, after a serious accident at the old location, it fell out of use and was left unmaintained, resulting in its deterioration and abandonment. Dismembered Cherry. Like Dismembered Ninfa, Dismembered Cherry was the previous version of the current Cherry used in the original Atos from 1995. Its deterioration and abandonment were consequences of the same serious... Uh, incident that affected the old location, Shoebill. Shoebill was present before the creation of Ninfa and Cherry, as it was an attraction at the now defunct Shoebill's party in 1993. It is a male Shoebill bird that was purchased by Atos at some later point to join Ninfa and Cherry. However, like dismembered uh, Ninfa and dismembered Cherry, it ceased to be used due to the serious incident that occurred at the old location. And so now we can take a look at the behind the scenes stuff for this game. So I guess uh, there goes Ninfa right there doing one of the various posts that, uh, you know, he was doing probably at the show stage or maybe some other part of the entire building. And so uh, there goes the show stage right over there. This time, uh, Cherry and Ninfa are nowhere to be found. And so there we have uh, some bits of the office right there looking at the left doorway and uh, the right ventilation system there. And so there we have Cherry, uh, or sorry, Dismember Cherry, uh, just doing the elusive typos right there, trying to, you know, be extra creepy right there. I mean, uh, yeah, you know what, Cherry, uh, you really do deserve uh, the extra added, uh, well, creepy points for uh, doing that elusive typos right there. And so there we have the right hallway with the uh, employee of the month, uh, you know, court board that's right there. And so there we have, uh, I guess, one of the gameplay screenshots that I remember seeing on the Game Jolt page for uh, this game right here. And that's pretty much it for all the behind the scenes stuff. So here we have some renders and there we have, uh, yeah, Cherry and Ninfa trying to be, uh, you know, very creepy for the cameras and uh, their old counterparts doing the same exact thing. And there's another uh, nice uh, side profile-ish look of a uh, dismembered Ninfa right there. And uh, hey, that's a wholesome uh, looking photo of uh, both of the dismembered goobers just, you know, just having a good time out in the void. And uh, Ninfa just putting up a thumb for a job well done for, uh, well, pro 
probably surviving the entire week and what well, resulting the new uh freaking restaurant from uh shutting down so yeah i, I guess that's what happened after uh, the events of night six trying to hush up our dear brother for trying to i don't know dig into our secrets that we were doing now, no wonder the like animatronics were attacking us and here we have i guess the patreon that we can go to for i guess uh no oh well hey you there cherry <laughs> coming from the side to jump scare me that time okay cherry will come through the left door if you see her standing at the door shut it in her face or close it oh. well hi there dismembered cherry uh okay didn't expect for you to jump scare me i was just looking on the cameras to see if uh anyone is uh, nearby the office okay then Dismember Cherry will come through the right door and through the left duct. If you see her standing at the right door, close it. And if you see her eyes glowing in the duct, shoot her an electric shock. Oh. Wait a minute. Uh, why am I still alive? Oh, what the? What is happening? Uh, okay. See, so yeah, pretty much the same thing happens, I guess, whenever the generator also gets cut off. So, yeah. So the power is all shut down, and I can't, well, do anything else, since I did break the game, just like I did on Night 6. So, yeah, uh, I guess, uh, I'm endlessly shocking. You're not even moving. So, that was pretty much all it for the Horror of Birds. Yet another really underrated FNAF fan game that I really did like all of the uh, simplistic, uh, you know, controls in the office, uh, you know, shutting the doors and, you know, all the animatronics' faces that uh, go into the vents and then using our uh, trusty anti-animatronic uh, taser to send everyone back to where they uh, once came from, you know, either the parts and service or the show stage itself, uh, mainly the parts and service because, uh, well, we were mainly using the taser for the dismembered goobers and uh, i really did like night six a whole lot just this uh, change up in gameplay from there as uh but we were using the same old uh, you know mechanics from the past few nights against a uh, shoe bill as uh he was uh, pretty much over at one of the doorways or in one of the vents just trying to you know attack from various uh, different avenues and uh, another character i think that's uh, someone else that i have no idea who that might be, or it could possibly be another acquaintance from uh, that old Shoebill's restaurant that uh, we read the lore from in the extras about uh, Shoebill himself. And I really did like the added in cutscenes as well for a couple of these nights as there's been an accident over at, you know, a Tao's restaurant and uh, it could have been, uh, you know, Shoebill's uh, doing for probably much and on of the remains of that poor freaking kid that did not uh, need to dig into the secrets of uh, our own supposed doing so. That was a nice uh, little plot twist, if that is the case, that we were the ones uh, responsible for, you know, doing some very nefarious things behind the scenes. And, uh, yeah, I really did like this uh, entire uh, FNAF fan game, as uh, I had uh, not seen a whole lot of other people have played this uh, FNAF fan game at all. And, yeah, it was a really fun uh, time playing through all this, just, you know, defending against, uh, you know, the animatronics themselves. Uh, Man, it is a nice refresher after coming back for quite some time to play another one of these FNAF fan games. And uh, that was really neat that there was not that many phone calls whatsoever, since uh, that only one phone call just, uh, you know, told us how to deal with, the, uh, you know, the main uh, office itself. And uh, ultimately, uh, we picked up the uh, mechanics for the rest of these guys from there. And yeah, it was not that much of a hassle, and I really did enjoy uh, the gameplay loop as uh, there has been one more animatronic threat that's been added at a time through over the course of the entire week and uh yeah just your typical fnaf uh, stuff going on here i guess and uh, yeah those are my overall final thoughts on the horror of birds yet another very underrated fnaf fan game i really did like the models a whole lot i just really you know want to hug these uh you know bird animatronics uh, as much as I want to, uh, you know, without the murderous category that they uh, have encoded in their systems. But, hey, as long as that's out, then uh, I guess it'll be perfectly fine to uh, pretty much 
<laughs> hang out with these uh, fuzzy little goobers, I suppose. So yeah, just be careful uh, around uh, animatronics that are possessed or maliciously encoded by someone. Regardless, though, yeah, these animatronics are still just as dangerous every single time in these FNAF mini games. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here before one of these guys flies through the screen and uh, eats my face off. So if anyone has enjoyed this entire video here as I've played through all of the horror of birds and uh, ultimately had that uh, showdown with the shoe bill at the end of night six, then y'all know what to do down there since all of you are amazing. Like, comment, and definitely subscribe if y'all haven't already, or else you'll be forced to work at a Taos restaurant. And good luck to you if you uh, find yourself defending against all of these uh, bird animatronics, or else uh, Shoe Bill will decide to give you a surprise anyways and uh, go on with the full on assault, just like uh, what happened there with Night Six. And hit that bell to be notified of all my future content and streams because I do sometimes stream my channel. And that's about it. So I'll see you all in the next video or stream. Thank you guys so much for watching this, and yeah, see y'all.